To grow the days that fears begin to fade, those are the days that I never trade. The time it took to fall in love with you.
Jesus, I'm yours. My
Jesus, Jesus, we're here tonight to confess that you're the one that we adore. We gather here for no other reward than just to know that you are the one that we want, that you are our heart's desire. We pray, God, that as we draw closer to you, as we spend time here in your presence, that this confession of ours would be more and more heartfelt with every day. It would become more genuine, even more honest before you, God. That you are the object of our affection. And we're here to meet you, Lord, tonight. We thank you, Lord. This time we're going to transition into a time of praying through the word. So if you have a Bible with you, I'd like to encourage you to turn to Isaiah 60. The passage is Isaiah 60, verses 1 through 7. And during this time we'll be meditating on the scripture and singing through the scripture. So feel free to receive, feel free to sing along. Feel free to meditate on this passage. Isaiah 60, verses 1 and 2. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For behold, darkness shall cover the earth, and thick darkness the peoples. But the Lord will arise upon you, and his glory will be seen upon you. Lord, we thank you that you've made us a people that are marked by your light. Even when there's darkness all around us, even when the world sees nothing but darkness, you have risen upon us and called us to arise and to shine. You make us the light of the world in times of darkness and hopelessness. May we not be found hiding under a bowl, but may we shine as you clothe us with your glory. But the Lord will rise 
upon you He will rise He will rise He will rise upon you upon you He will rise in the morning banishing every darkness
as we come to you and as we're drawn into your light we feel all, all fears all doubts all troubles all lies of the enemy all of them falling away Lord God as we learn to dwell and abide in your presence we thank you God for your presence it's our joy it's our delight to sit at your feet simply worship and adore you, God. Jesus, you are the one that we adore. We pray all these things in your name. Amen. Bye. 
world you got You make everything well And through it all your eyes were on me And through it all your eyes were say it is well it is well for what you have done in my life for what you have done in my life for what you are doing right now for what you will do It is well, it is well with my soul It is well, it is well with my soul For you are with me, for you are with me Through it all, through it all, my eyes are on through it all, through it all, it is well. Through it all, through it all, my eyes are on you. It is well. Through it all, through it all, your eyes are on me. well with our soul not because all our circumstances turned out the way we thought they would not because we haven't gone through trials or testing but we know that our it is well with our soul because you have been there with us you have carried us through the valley of the shadow of death you've carried us through every storm you are the God whose eyes never left us we can say with full confidence that it is well with our soul. Oh God, your grace has been sufficient for us, for your power has been made perfect in our weakness. May you receive all the glory. I pray all these things in your name. Amen. This time we'll continue singing from Isaiah 60. We'll be singing from Isaiah 60. Verse 5. Isaiah 60, verse 5. Then you shall see and be radiant. Your heart shall thrill and exult, because the abundance of the sea shall be turned to you. The wealth of the nations shall come to you. Lord, teach us to rejoice in what you've done in our lives. Restore us unto the joy of our salvation in you for we were once in darkness and now we have been brought into your marvelous light
your work in our lives has been more than just helping us break even, but you've exalted us through your Son. You have blessed us with riches and glory in Christ Jesus, and nations are our inheritance. May we remain in a place of thanksgiving and praise as you continue to pour out your blessings and your favor upon us. Oh Lord, we rejoice in you for you have done good, good things in our lives. You receive my heart's abundant joy and you pour out more and more and more and more. Thank you. 
60, verse 6. A multitude of camels shall cover you, the young camels of Midian and Ephah. All those from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and frankincense and shall bring good news, the praises of the Lord. Father, as the nations flock to your light, we come not with a sacrifice that has cost us nothing. We give to you the best that we have to give. We surrender to you our riches, our futures, our lives, that the praises of the Lord would be heard in the land. Lead us into greater extravagant worship to the one who is worthy of all honor, all glory, and all praise. You. Yeah. Yeah. 
God, we give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. There is none like you, Lord, and it is our privilege, it is our honor to give you what you deserve. We thank you, Lord. We pray all these things in your name. Amen.
time of intercession. Uh, tonight we'll be praying and lifting up Israel. Um, and after I lead you in prayer, I'd like you to follow up with a prayer of your own. Tonight we'll be praying for the revelation of Jesus Christ over the nation of Israel. Our first prayer topic is for the revelation of Christ as a living word. In Luke 24, it says, How foolish you are and how slow to believe in all that the prophets have spoken. Did not the Messiah have to suffer these things and then enter his glory? And beginning with Moses and all the prophets, Jesus explained to them what was said in all the scriptures concerning himself. The first point that we'll be praying for is that Israel would awaken to the revelation of a living word that was there from the beginning, as said in John 1. We'll pray that the veil over their eyes will be torn as they read the scriptures, and that they would have eyes to see and ears to hear what the word of the Lord says about the Messiah. Lord, in the same way that you mercifully revealed yourself in the word to those disciples on the road to Emmaus, we pray that you would reach out to your people in Israel who have carried and stewarded the law for so many generations and that you begin to tear the veil off their eyes that they might see you. Reveal yourself as a living word that was from the beginning. Reveal yourself as the eternal word that has not come for our condemnation, but that we may have life and life to the full. As they see you with eyes that are fresh with revelation, may they fall more in love with the full length of scripture, from Genesis to Revelation, the Old Testament prophecies and the New Testament epistles, the Alpha and the Omega. Let's pray. of Christ as their lover. Yes. Hosea 2 says, In that day, declares the Lord, you will call me my husband. You will no longer call me my master. I will remove the names of the Baals from her lips. No longer will their names be invoked. I will betroth you to me forever. I will betroth you in righteousness and justice 
in love and in compassion. I will betroth you in faithfulness and you will acknowledge the Lord. So we will pray that Israel's heart would soften to hear the voice of their beloved. We'll pray that as Jesus allures her into the wilderness and speaks tenderly to her, she would respond with faith and with love. We also pray that the name of Jesus would strip away the names of their idols from their lips and from their hearts. Father, you are a jealous God. We pray that you would reveal your son as a lover of Israel, the one who came to ransom his bride, the one who endured beatings, scourging, the humiliation of the cross, the full wrath of God, and the darkness of death, that he would make for himself a bride, pure and spotless, washed clean by the blood of the Lamb. Jesus, reveal your heart of passion and longing for your bride, your desire for that day of the wedding banquet of the Lamb. Bring your beloved Israel to that place of intimacy and to a response of love as you draw her to yourself through your loving kindness. Strip the names of every other lover from her lips and from her heart that Israel would only call out the name of Yeshua HaMashiach as her soul desire and as her soul hope of glory. Reveal Jesus Christ as Israel's lover. Let's pray.
voice be heard Let your voice be heard To know that you are the true Messiah Let your kingdom come Let your will be done Let your kingdom come To know that you are the true Messiah Thirdly, we'll pray for a revelation of Christ as their Savior. Zechariah 12.10 says, And I will pour out on the house of David and the inhabitants of Jerusalem a spirit of grace and supplication. They will look on me, the one that they have pierced, and they will mourn for him as one mourns for an only child and grieve bitterly for him as one, as one grieves for a firstborn son. We'll be praying that as the Spirit of God falls upon Israel, they will look to the one they have pierced and repent. We'll pray that repentance would lead to faith in the one who died for their sins. We will pray that they would also fully receive forgiveness into their hearts and arise as a new creation. Father, you provided for Israel the pure and spotless lamb to atone for her sins for ones and for all. What bull sacrifices and what the blood of goats could not do, you did through your son to reconcile to yourself a people born and raised in sin into intimate communion with the Holy One. We pray that as Zechariah had prophesied thousands of years ago, your people of Israel will look upon the one they have pierced, that you would supernaturally open their eyes to see not just a thief or a carpenter or a rabbi hanging on the cross, but they would see that I am that I am, their Messiah, their Savior, humbled and stripped down, crucified for sins he did not commit, that they may find forgiveness and reconciliation with the Father. As your people once applied that blood of the Lamb on their doorposts, may they apply the blood of the Savior on their hearts, that they might receive true atonement and forgiveness for their sins, not by any sacrifice that they have made, but by what Jesus has done on the cross. Let's pray. Revelation 22.20 says, He who testifies these things says, Yes, I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. We will pray that Israel would join in with the cry of Maranatha as the day draws near. We will pray that in the same way, the same zeal that blinded them at the first coming of Christ would allow them to recognize the triumphant Messiah in His second coming. We will also pray that Jesus would find his beloved Israel eagerly waiting for him, that there would be much joy and much celebration on that day. Father, may the cry of Maranatha break out within your people of Israel, a deep soul cry for your return. 
in the same way that it was their zeal that blinded them to Jesus' first coming, would it be their zeal and longing that allows them to see your return with great joy and great expectation. We pray that the partial hardening over Israel's heart towards Jesus would begin to let up. And as their hearts begin to burn for you, on that day may Christ find a nation eagerly awaiting for his return. May revival and salvations break out in Israel as they receive the revelation of the returning King to be Jesus Christ, the living Word, their lover and their Savior. The Spirit and the Bride say, come. Let's pray.
the glory. Yes, God, you are worthy of it all, God. Jesus, thank you so much for tonight. Thank you that we could gather here together to worship you, to sing to you, God, and to pray uh, for Israel, Lord. God, thank you so much for just allowing us to intercede for this beautiful nation that you've chosen. God, we pray for your hope to rise in that nation, God. We pray that your joy will rise in that nation, Lord. That soon those people will stop wailing at the wailing wall, but know that the true Messiah has already come to this world to save them, God. And I pray that they will just come to an end. And they will receive you as King Jesus. They will receive you, Father God. Until that day, we will continue. We will not stop to pray for that nation, God. We will continue to pray and pray and intercede for that beautiful nation, Lord. Thank you so much for what you are already doing and what you will do, God, in the future. We honor you and we worship you, Father. You are so good, God. You are so good. You know everything about us. We are very safe where you are, God. And we commit ourselves to you, Lord. We surrender everything to you, God. You are worthy of it all. We praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We honor you. We love you so much. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for coming. I hope you are blessed. And have a good rest of the evening. Yes.